Now, a scandal hit the NRL this week, which is good, because uh, it meant they didn't have to replace this sign. <laughs> now, scandals hit the NRL as often as NRL players hit members of the public. And <laughs> this past week has definitely seen an example of the seven stages of scandal that we all go through. Firstly, glee. A current affair had the footage first, and it was so wild, they even let Dan Nolan share the grown-ups desk with Tracy. Dan Nolan joins me with this exclusive story. So, Dan, let's say who this is and what he's done. Yes, Dan, let's say who it is and what he's done. Let's call it, I don't know, reporting. <laughs> the pay and press question is one of the biggest names in the code, but tonight this video leaves serious question marks on his future with the season just weeks away from kickoff. You did neither of the things Tracy asked, Dan. <laughs> Get off the desk. It's Mitchell Pearce. Now, what's on the video? It shows the New South Wales Origin player making an unwanted advance on a woman and unspeakable sexual acts. Ooh, unspeakable, you say. But however will we speak of it? Simulating a lewd act with a dog. Simulating a, a lewd act with a dog. Simulating what appears to be a sex act on a dog. Yeah, Pricey, that's a sex act. <laughs> yeah, I've done the sex over twice and I can tell you that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> OK, he dry-humped a dog. That's, that's the end of it, right? The video also shows the New South Wales State of Origin player forcing an unwanted kiss on a woman and he peed on the couch. Oh, come on, Koshy. Like, Barrett's doesn't pee on the couch every day. <laughs> I mean, why else did you need a new set? <laughs> but you can't just show the footage. You need to talk about how hard it is to show the footage. That's stage two, the opposite of Glee. That video, it's just gross. It made me feel sick. Disgusting, awful, disrespectful. The list goes on. That is foul. That is filthy. That made my... I just felt sick watching that video. What an animal. Oh, so now you're victim-blaming. <laughs> Time for stage three, escalation. Dan, back on the desk. Well, Tracy, this involves some potentially explosive text messages. They were with us at the Oak and they were pretty normal, giving out liney lineys. Whatever liney lineys means, it's not directed as a particular reference to Pierce himself. Yeah, whatever liney lineys means. <laughs> it's not like they have them at the Logie Logies. <laughs> OK, now it's a real scandal. Move to stage four. Ask Ita. What he did with the dog was... was yeah, sure, it was, a, it was a stupid thing to do, mm. but he, he didn't really do anything. He was just... I mean, I hate to say it, he was horsing around. Oh, great. Now there's a horse involved. <laughs> Anyone else? While many condemned him, others defended him, arguing that while it was distasteful and inappropriate, it was nowhere near as bad as other offences committed by rugby league players. Mm, true. By rugby league standards, this was practically a high tea. <laughs> so if it's not Mitchell Pearce's fault, then it has to be someone else's. Bring on stage five, the witch hunt. Ita? He was at a private party and someone's videoed all of this and then flogged it off to the media. Jack sat there filming it all. This leaked text exchange provides the first real clues as to the identities of those who outed Pearce. <laughs> So it was Jack. Well, that sets the scene for stage six, the obligatory awkward apology. During last night's news, in a story regarding Mitchell Pearce, we named a person we said was responsible for filming and distributing the footage of Mr Pearce. The person named is adamant that he did not do so. We accept this and apologise for any confusion caused. Ah, oh, so it seems while trying to get Jack, Channel 7 got Jack. <laughs> All that's left now is the final stage in any NRL scandal. Stage seven, say stupid shit. The funny thing is, uh, while Mitchell Pearce is uh, fondling a hound uh, after getting on the grog, the West Coast Eagles, who a club not uh, immune to uh, getting into trouble itself, managed to take 25 dogs to Floriot Beach in Perth and not one of them got fondled up. Mm. What fine fellas. Nary fondled a single dog. And just when we dumped knighthoods. However, will we repay them? <laughs>